In this video, we're going to have a look at a new product filter plugin. Uh, this is the free version. There is a premium version, but you can do quite a lot with the free version, which is really great. So this is how it's styled, and this is just straight after the install. No customization has been applied. So here you can do a search. Here you have your sliders for price. We've included a custom taxonomy called brands, and these are attributes, the size, and the color. Now each one of these filters you make and you can decide which filters then to display with this particular menu so or layout so to show you how that works if I was to select for example large immediately after clicking the page will now reload and you'll be able to see all the large items so there are the two large items and I've just opted to put the active filters here but you could also then include them on the left hand side of your page. So that was just to highlight the fact that you can put the active filters above your products or you can include them above the filters on the left hand side. So the, the way to get rid of the products on the page now or to go back to the beginning would either be to untick or to simply remove the active filter. So that's how that works and now I'm just going to show you for example the, the price slider so if I was to slide that right down you'll see now that the page will update of course you can also select not to show the active filters if I wanted to include all the pricing again I can slide that all the way up to the top and the page will now refresh including all the products and you'll see that the active filter is no longer visible if I wanted to do a search by a name so I'm just going to go with bean so after typing you just need to hit the enter button and the page will now refresh and you can see now that the active key search here is bean and anything with the word bean in is now in the active search and you'll also notice now that the other filters adjust accordingly with the name of the product so the filters are linked together so that adjusting the one adjusts them all and you can see here that these filter results have even been filtered through here so you've got blue and red only and in this case though we only have the Z brand 6 available because that's the only brand that has that particular product so now I'm going to remove the um, the search so I'll do that over here and by removing the search you'll see that the active filters are reset and you can see that it was actually search results so that's pretty much how um, how effective it is and how nice it is to use so the name of the plugin that you're looking for is Pofili WooCommerce product filters and let's just have a look at the view details to see what you get so this is what you're looking for when you're looking for the plugin Pofili WooCommerce product filters so that's the name of the plugin and now what we're going to do is just dig a little deeper into how it works and what you can do. So the way that it works here is that you create um, various filter blocks and then once you have your filter blocks you would then head over to your filter menu and in your filter menu you would then include the filter blocks that you use so you can create more than one filter menu if you need to do that you can then also decide if you want to use the button to filter or as in our case the moment you've uh, applied your settings the changes show and you can also choose to show this menu in a modal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to update that then I'm going to head over to the page and now what you will do is we'll just have a look at that menu in a modal so at the moment it's been applied using a widget just inserting the short code and the short code is uh, provided here so we've just inserted that short code and that displays down the left hand side but now we've also activated the modal so if I didn't have the sidebar here I could then have my product page then just products when you select the sidebar the sidebar slides out and it's a very neat nice layout and just to show you how that works I've selected large 2 and now the page will refresh and you'll see now that um, we only have those two items and if I was to click on that again you'll see that the uh, colors have been updated as well so if I for example 
Uh, let's go with a medium. Now you'll see here that I've selected two items. The setting can also be set to only include one of those at a time. So there we're down to three colors that are available in the two sizes and here once again it's the same. So here you can actually decide if you want it to be a single choice or if you want it to be multiple choices. So now I'm just going to deselect that and now you'll see that the um, the items are reset and now if I select there then that'll be gone. So if you are going to use the modal you might want to apply your filters above the products so the person doesn't have to keep going back here to see what it is. So that's how easy it would be to in implement that as a modal sliding in off screen or using the short code you can implement here. So that's the basically the menu page and there's not really that much that you can do here. The other option available is display conditions but you would have to upgrade in order to get that particular feature. So this is um, really great and what's also nice here is that you can actually move the items around. So uh, you can also have reviews, filter by price. If you don't want something here you can simply hit the minus button and it moves to the left. So there's no drag and drop between. If I want to include, I just click on it and it's back. So that's how easy it would be to set up your menu or your, um, your filter section. And let's go and have a look at the different filter blocks. So what you'll see here is that we have a couple of filter blocks. This one is color, which is a product attribute. So what you would do is enter the name. Uh, here we've set to filter by taxonomy and listed in the product taxonomies are of course the product attributes. So we have the color, the product size, product tags, product categories. And in this case, our brands are also a custom taxonomy. So you're gonna get the standard taxonomies as well as the attributes under taxonomy. Simply select your taxonomy and then you would hit add all so let me remove those so if i wanted to add all the product colors i can enter one at a time by typing in so i could limit the uh, the choice to specific taxonomies or simply add all and in this case then we add the five and the five are added then we have um, how we want to display for example these colors and we've selected color swatches and as a result of selecting color swatches, we then have these templates that we can set up and we can also choose the different colors. So here we could make them bigger or smaller. We also have the border radius and we also list how many entries to show. In this case, 25. Now, if we go back to our page, you'll see that the color swatches are round. If I wanted to change the shape, then I would simply head over here to the border radius and let's make it, um, I'm just gonna take out the zero. So we'll make that 5%. I'll update, I'll head over to the product tutorial and now you'll see that those swatches are actually square. So that's how easy it is to change the shape of the swatches, which is really great. And then if we go a little bit down, you'll see that we can change the sequence by the slug or ID. In this case, we've just gone by the name in an ascending order, which makes logical sense. Now we can also choose whether to show the count of items, whether we want to allow multiple selections, and the multi-select relation is AND. We could also change that to an OR, but in this case, we've made it an AND. And that just means that it takes other filters into consideration. We could also show a clear button. So let's add a clear button. We could also then decide to show as a toggle. In this case, we are just going to show um, the clear button. So let's head back to the site. And now we're going to refresh. Right, refreshed, and I'm going to choose the red. So now only the products with the red color will show. And what you're going to see now is that you have this clear button here. So to go back, I can either 
click on the X here to remove the color or click on the clear and then the items um, are deselected. So that's just um, maybe a quick way if you have several colors, if you have a lot of colors and you want to deselect several at a time. I'm going to remove that. Uh, if you want to see how to show it as a toggle, now we have this toggle style open by default or closed. So what I'm going to do is just update here and we're going to set it to open by default. And I'm going to refresh that. So on the open by default page, um, you'll see the toggle here. So uh, it doesn't really work with just the one row. So to make this really work, you probably want to have um, a few more colors. So that'll work if you have a lot of colors and you want to hide um, several colors. Um, it doesn't really work with the one row. But that's just to give an idea that if you have a lot of these uh, filters down the side that you can um, maybe just include more in the visible viewable area of the screen by using the toggle. So I'm not going to go with the toggle. Right, so that's how easy it is then to set up, say, with the color. If you want to set up something that is more, maybe more of a standard filter block, so I'm going to go to filter blocks here and let's go with size. And you'll see here that once again we've set size, filter by taxonomy. We added all the terms. We've set it as a checkbox, but I can change that maybe to a select, which is a drop down or to a button. So we'll just change that to button. You can have a look and see how that works. Once again, these are the sizes that are available and these are the labels and this is the tooltip so here i'm going to enter a new large and let's make that newer large so we'll just have a look to show you how that um, new label and the tooltip works then we head over we can order by once again ascending show the count allow multiple selection yes the um, multi-select relation is AND. We can also change the, the display type to horizontal. We've had a look at the um, clear button. We're not going to use the toggle and we're not going to view the view more button. So we'll update. And now you're going to see that that's going to change considerably. So when I refresh the page, now you'll see that the sizes are now represented as buttons and you'll see that the tooltip now appears above the new large with newer so that's how the tooltip would work on a button if that's something that you need to do I'm not a big fan of tooltips myself so i'm going to remove that and i'll just go back to the standard label and I'm going to just go back here then to a vertical display and update. So as you can see, it's really easy to uh, set up your filters in the way that you want. And then once you have your filter blocks to add them to the menus. And then once you have your menu, you might want to do a little bit more. So let's head over to settings here. And this is where you can uh, achieve some of the styling. So we've activated the filter modal so that's why the option is available and visible and then here we have the show active filters we set above the products list because just to illustrate what would happen if you were using the modal but as i have a short code maybe i want to do it before filters and i'm going to save that setting and then i'm going to head over to customize now when i'm on customize i can decide where to put that icon for the filter I can, for example, let's just do it in this case at the top of the product loop. To look at a few more settings here, you can do the modal icon style. There's some styles, the hover style. Then we have the option styles and we have the option to do a custom style or the theme style. And then we have some options here for labels, hover and active. So just a few basic settings that you can apply and now i'm going to refresh the page to have a look at those changes so the first thing that we're going to look for now is the um we've moved the modal 
from the um, bottom left hand corner so we're not seeing uh, here we go here is the filter so I can click on that to have the filters appear so a little bit of styling here and that could stand out a little bit more it's not in a great position um, not easy to see if you don't highlight that in a different way but it does work the other thing that we can quickly look at then in the settings is I'm going to change the styling from custom style to theme style we're going to save those settings head over here refresh and now you'll see that according to the theme the links and the colors have been changed to fit in more in line with the theme and you can see there's a direct correlation now between the styles that we're using and the theme so that's pretty much then how you would um, set up the settings I'll include a link below to go and have a look at it there is a premium version that's available and that does allow you to to include a few more features it does also mean that you can do something like a filter for on sale so you would just click on the button and then all the products that are on sale would then be presented in your list so that's pretty much how the free version works it's i think it's great value for money especially at the price and if you upgrade you can get a bit more so just hope you enjoy that video and thank you for watching